the golden sun above the horizon. A beautiful moon in a scary night. There are many natural objects in this world that has the same figure. Even man-made objects like balls, cup, plates, ring, and many more are developed with the same figure. What common shape is being illustrated in these objects? Circles, right? Here, we can explore the real-world facts about circles. So what is a circle? A circle is a set of points in a plane equidistant from a fixed point called the center. Seriously, in order for you to draw a circle, a center must be located first. All points you draw with equal distance to the center will form a circle. This is obviously a shape that doesn't belong to the family of polygon. Why? It is simply because it has no straight sides. So now, how to give a name to a circle? Just use any capital letter, which is also the name of the center point. This circle is circle A. Now, what device can help you draw a circle? Yes, that's right, a compass. But now, there are many tricks that can help you draw a circle. Let's watch the video. Amazing, right? Now, let's identify the parts of a circle. Let's begin. The radius. Is any segment joining the center to the point of the circle? Line segment AB is a radius of circle A. The diameter. It is twice the radius. It is also a cord passing through the center. Line segment BC is a diameter of circle A. The cord. It is any line segment joining any two points on the circle. Line segment BD is a cord of circle A. An arc. It is any portion of a circle determined by an angle. Arc PF is an arc of circle A. A minor arc. Arc BF is a minor arc since it measures less than 180 degrees. A semicircle. It measures exactly 180 degrees. BFC is an arc of circle A. A major arc is greater than 180 degrees. Arc CBF is a major arc. Central angle. An angle whose vertex is at the center and whose sides intersect the circle at two points. Example, angle BAF. Inscribed angle. An angle whose vertex is on the circle and whose sides are chords. Example, angle BEF. Those are some of the circle parts. Have you memorized them? Now, let's know the real-world uses of circles. Architectural designs. Science use it to compute trajections and planetary craters. 
construction also uses circles. Wheels are developed for transportation. Bicycles, motorcycles, and other vehicles uses wheels. And a lot more. So whatever you do, whether you're busy traveling, or busy buying in a market, or enjoying vacation, circles are everywhere. Because in here, we always consider what matters. So if you want more videos, subscribe for more, and be updated.